Friday, guys. How's it going? Guess what? You know, every time we do this, we've got something special to show you. And we've got um, Michelle, the model, here today because we're going to show you so many projects Absolutely. that we're doing. But it was like denim jackets are in. Mm -hmm. Personalized denim jackets are major trend. Absolutely. So, Michelle... She has some detail here on the front pocket, and then show us the back. Is this the cutest? It's kind of hard for you to see. I'll pull this down. But the stencil is stop worrying about the potholes in the road and enjoy the journey. Good word, good word. So we are excited. These two stencils, we love how they look. Look at that. They're really so fantastic. Great. They're very encouraging. And I can't move the seat. Er, there we go. <laughs> the, the stop worrying, you know, even just having stop worrying. It's a little toasty. Stop worrying. Like. Stop it. Stop. But you could just use the stop worrying. But stop worrying about the potholes in the road and enjoy the journey. Just enjoy the journey. Oh, my Be gosh. I have, I have so many things. Marianne. Hi, Marianne. How's it going? Hey, Erica. That's hey so true about the reality of just being present. Being present, yes. You know, totally. being present in the moment. Okay, before I show you the other one, I do want y'all to know, I have read this book and I started listening to the audio again of it last night. I don't know if you're familiar with it. It's called The Relentless... Oh, come on. Help me, Hannah. The Relentless Elimination of Hurry. Oh, it's great. It's great. The... The eliminate the relentless elimination of hurry. You can go to audiobooks and listen to it. And it really talks about the life of Christ and how mm -hmm. he was not, not in a hurry. hurry. Um, he wasn't in every moment. He was present, that's right, and he was not in a hurry. And how so much from the life of Christ that we can take um we can take from to yes. be able to apply to our own life. And I don't know about y'all. But I made the decision in it that I would do a Sabbath on Sunday from my phone. Mm. So I am going to... No phone. No phone. That'll be so good. I'm excited. I'm That'll looking forward so to it. That'll be so good. And now I've just got to... Y'all think about me. I've got to talk Jean Howard into doing it. Because it won't work if I'm trying to do it and Jean won't do it. So, hey Donna. Hey Brett. Hey guys. What you need to pray, Amy, is the Lord will come. Gene Absolutely. To do it. Yes. <laughs> I, I'm actually, I, I do that. I mean, I'm saying this in jest. Yes. But I pray about things. And he listens to the spirit too. He's so he surrendered. Does. He did. He does. So I'm not worried about it at not all. Not either. But look at this. Well, hey, Deborah. First time watching. Oh, Hi. MG. Welcome. We're so excited that you're watching. Um, which I'll use that as <laughs> just a prelude of I am Amy. I am Michelle. And we're part of a maker studio. I am your, I'm dubbed your mother maker because I'm older than everybody else. No. And because. She teaches all the things. And because I, I love <laughs> to be part of the creative vision of this company and um, our strategy of teaching women how to craft a more beautiful life. Amen. So if you want to hold that one up, this is the jacket that we're going to show you how to make a great looking denim jacket today. Um, and stop worrying. Right. And then this one, um, this is a bundle that we've put these two together because the artistic wise, they, they complement, um, they complement one another. So but great. look, enjoy the little things. Look at the detail on this. Is this not beautiful? Now, I truly believe that these would be a great chalkboard. Oh yeah. Y'all know we do that all the time. And oh, you can yeah. use the one step and you can use the chalk art to be able to create it. We're gonna show you how to use this on a lot of different things. But I want you to look. This is just done on watercolor paper yep. with the inks. Yep. And look at it. Look at the detail from this. Is it not beautiful? Now, I'm just going to tell you. You can go to Ikea. We're all about hacks. Yeah. Um, and so going and taking things that maybe you would normally backwards needs to be reversed. Did I not do that? Let's see. If Is it too late? Make... I don't think so. Hold on. Ta-da! Is that better? So sorry. There we go. Normally I remember that. We got you, friend. Thanks for letting us know. Yes, let me get my computer over here. 
I don't know why, as far as my the live on here, why it's not allowing me to be able to see it. So, um, as you pop on here, I don't know if you're familiar with the way we do this, but um, we see Michelle knows. Michelle knows. Hey, Melody. Sprinkle, sprinkle. So, you want to be able to share this video and tag three friends. And then we are going to be giving away both of these stencils for free, and we're going to mail them to you. Hey, Lori from Indiana. So, you want to just, all you have to do is share the love yep. and share the video. And well, hey, Michelle, I'm so glad that you caught us live too. That's much better. Thank you, Judy. A girl's got to help a girl, don't they? Yeah. It's like, I'm thinking I did it. Help me, Hannah. And so that way, we want this to be um, a much, much easier for you. Absolutely. Okay, thank you so much. We're so glad you do. So look at this. Now, let's just talk about, here's the stencil. Enjoy the little things. This is something that's a message that we need to have all the time. Yes. Whether it's on a t-shirt, a chalkboard, a tote bag, whatever. Look at this. Look at the detail. Isn't it beautiful? So cute. So cute. But I love this as a chalkboard, but actually as a work of art. So let me show you part of the reason why I was talking about doing an Ikea hack. Mm -hmm. Do this on watercolor paper, and then go to Ikea and get the picture frames frame. there. Like how much do they run? $8, they like seven, out at $14.99 for the big ones. And this is, Melody just got her maker box off the front porch. <gasps> Yay! You're gonna have so much fun. And you just need to go to the website and look at all the different projects and things. All so, the fun things. Rebecca, thank you for sharing. Um, oh, thank you, Lori. We think they're pretty amazing, too. The detail and the artwork in them are just really spectacular. Well, and the heart behind them both. So enjoying the journey and enjoying the little things, it goes hand in hand. If they you're do. in the moment, they I'll do. just say in parenting, remembering mm -hmm. to praise the little things, especially mm -hmm. when... Your kids are really trying. <laughs> like I am in really trying ages of a 13 year old and an 11 year old and finding those little things to relish in and to praise them for. Mm -hmm. It's so vital. And number one, it boosts them so they're not in trouble all the time. But number two, it just helps me to remember like, hey, there are little things to praise even when I feel like we're not moving forward. Parenting is hard, y'all. And it's gonna go by. <laughs> it's gonna so go fast. by. It's going to go by so quickly. So, fast. so just to be able to show you, these are finished. These are these two stenciled actually finished. So you can Absolutely. see the detail is amazing. And now we're going to show you um, some different projects that we've done with them. You're going to love this. Are you ready for this? Are you ready for this? You may be like, well, I don't have any more baby. Well, then you've got, you're going to have grandbabies. You're going to have people that have somebody's always pregnant. somebody's always gonna have a baby <laughs> sweet little old baby all right so let's show them look at this is this the cutest thing look at this but now here's a differentiator here's really what makes this quite special um okay hold this on somebody somebody oh my gosh Lori just had open heart surgery oh, I have to remember the little things friend. I just had open heart surgery mm. yes so yes, yes. Lori, I'm gonna I'm gonna go back through and I'm gonna pray for you. I, I I don't know if you know that I'm a cancer survivor, and so you do. Um, you count your blessings. You stop more. worrying. You stop worrying, and you're just like I'm gonna enjoy today, and I'm gonna enjoy. It. You're breathing. That's right. And as long as we are breathing, we got work to do. That's right. We got we got people to love on. We got stuff. All right. So show them that again. We're gonna show you how to do this. Now, you can get these onesies. I don't know if you can tell, but see, this has yes. been colored. We dyed it. We dyed it. So With lens step. Yes. Who knew? We so did. We're gonna show you how to create this. So we've got our other onesie. And I'm here? gonna turn this down because when we do these lives, it's not just about showing you. We wanna teach you. Absolutely. And, oh, you are so blessed, Lori. And you're going to, every day, you're going to get stronger and stronger and stronger. Mm -hmm. So, I love your attitude and so grateful that you're watching. All right, so, um, Michelle is, uh, she's getting her gloves on. I'm gloved up. Not, and I'll just tell you this. I'm gloved up because I have a bunch more projects to do after this. 
If I was at home, I wouldn't even think about gloving up. I would be all about the messy hands and the paint. But if I have to touch a whole bunch of other things. Sometimes messy hands also make it a lot of fun. All right, so I'm gonna turn this down. Please be sure to, to oh, continue. I'm trying to get my live video feed here. To continue um, and you share with us. Second step. Pardon me? I said you might have to do the second step. Well, <laughs> I, can, I can help with whatever. You might have to stencil that so I have a chance to not trash your kitchen. Oh, I see what you're saying. <laughs> Well, here's, here's the main thing. We've got a lot of projects that we're going to show you today, but what we wanted to be able to show you is how to dye this. Yeah, how to dye it. It's so, so fun. Here's the onesie. So you can fun. get these so inexpensive. Yes. This is just the Gerber yeah. onesie. Six pack for $9.99, I think. Like, they're so reasonably priced. So inexpensive. But here's the deal. If you give this to somebody, okay, let's just, let's just say you, you give them a gift, they open it up, and they're going to go... Thanks. Thank you. That's so sweet. You give them this one. And then you, you get this one. It's like, oh, oh my gosh, this is it. the cutest. So mm -hmm. there's no comparison. Mm -hmm. But we wanted to be able to show you, can you see kind of the detail on it? We want to so show you great. how to dye it. Because the stenciling part is fairly simple and yeah. fairly straightforward. And we're going to show it to you on the jacket. Yes. All right, so let's do this. So we're going to turn it down. We're going to show you, you can use this technique on doing napkins. You can do tea towels. You can do onesies. Absolutely. You can do t-shirts. Um, it's so fun. And yes, you need to do it. All right, so let's do this. I'm going to turn this down. Okay. Help me, Hannah. Technical difficulties, guys. Bear with us. All right, here we go. So we're going to turn this down. There we go. You can see the water. There we go. Put it back a little bit. Can they see it? I think so. This is water. All right. All right. We are going to pour in. This is Brooks Gray One Step Paint. And I'm going to pour it in. Um, I'm actually going to probably stir it with my hands. But the beautiful thing about One Step is that even when it's watered down, the pigment is so great and permanent. <laughs> That you can literally dye fabric with it. It's awesome. It really is. Now look, so you see in this little tub, we had probably about... We had about an inch and a half of water. Yeah. So then that way, all you have to do is add your one step. Mm -hmm. And you can get these off of the website in these four ounce containers. Absolutely. All right, so now we're going to take the onesie. But you we ready? want to leave the top out, right? Yes, we do. Okay. We're just doing the bottom. So I'm just going to use my hands and wipe off the bottom so that they're not, I can move my hands to the top. Okay. So we are dipping, but we want to leave that top out so that we have that white variegation or variation either way. There we are. We're back. Okay. Good deal. We just took a pause. So I pulled it out and all I'm doing is wringing the color out. And wringing that out is what's going to give me that effect. Yes. Make sure you get you have your kitchen counter all protected. All protected. So here we have it done. And then um, Do you it, mean to move this away? Yes. So that way they can see. Then let me see. show you the top. I'm just gonna pull it down a little bit. The let top is down. left out. Alright, so let me let me lay this down. There's our little onesie. And we would just let that dry and then take our next step, which would be the designing part. So the cool thing about it is, guys, when you're doing this, is to leave this like we did at the top. Everybody's is gonna look just a little bit different. Absolutely. But to not have it all the way to the top. You can take the one step paint, add it with the water, and then dye it and it is permanent. Absolutely. And you're gonna you're gonna be really surprised at how it doesn't fade. But then you wanna lay this onto a towel on your counter or whatever and just let it dry just naturally. It dry. And it does kind of have a tie-dye towel look to it. it. Does. Have you got a word like you scrimped it up like I did. this? So I squeezed it. Um, kind of like I was milking a cow as I got the water out of it and that's going to give it those kind of lines 
um, that would be like a tie dyeing effect. And so when it dries, those places will dry just a little bit dry, uh, darker. And if you have areas like this that are darker, it's perfect. It's perfect. You don't have to worry about it. It's just, it's just like tie dye. <laughs> yeah, beautiful. So then this is probably going to take about, I would probably say a couple of hours to dry. Yeah. And if you, you get impatient, you can put it in the dryer. You could. <laughs> I've done that before. You could. <laughs> so then after it's dried, we'll take that away. Yes. After it's dry, <laughs> then it's going to dry down. So that way, all you have to do is come back with your stencil and add it on top. Now, we are um, we're going to show you how to actually use the stencil and the ink on a denim jacket. So that way you're gonna see how it works, but it's fairly straightforward on this one. And again, we're introducing these new stencils today. You know, we could do it on the back of it, I guess. We can, absolutely. That way everybody can kind of see how to do it. Mm -hmm. So Laura, the, um, the color will not wash out the first couple of times. It, this, with the one-step paint, you're really surprised. It goes into the fibers. It does. And again, the color that we used is Brooks Gray. And this paint is on a Maker Studio website. It is. You may have some fading the first time. Wash it in cool water and just let it sit out to, to dry. Yeah. But then yeah. after that, you're not going to have any more. And we will usually suggest turning this inside out mm -hmm. in order um, to just kind of protect it before you actually throw it mm -hmm. in the washer. Absolutely. All right, so let's just show them on the back then how to do this. So this is a new stencil that we're introducing today. And the sweet thing is you can, I mean, you can always design the back of an outfit too. <laughs> oh, totally. I love it. Oh my gosh, totally. These sweet little, as Michelle says, little nuggets. I, and let me just tell y'all, this is a fun baby shower. Um, oh my gosh, totally. We to did do this projects. at my cousin's baby shower. Oh my gosh. Everybody designed onesies for her. How fun is that? And they are that? clever and funny. And how much, um, how much are the onesies again? You usually get five or six for about 10 bucks. So guys, there are a lot of you that have Etsy shops or that you make things for people. Um, this would be an easy, easy thing to sell. Mm -hmm. Inexpensive, doesn't take long, and you can of course use the stencil over and over again. What we do want to do though is put something in here. Yeah, just gonna cheat and take this out. So that you'll notice what we're doing, you always need to put some type of protectant inside. inside. So if you want to fold that, and then that way that will fit, because the ink will have a tendency to bleed through and that way it'll protect it. So we're just gonna slip this in there, if you can see. Thank you, Patricia. Thank you, Tammy. Lori's like, stop it, I'm in love. It, this, <laughs> this whole process of taking the one-step paint, the water, and doing kind of an ombre effect. It is. Guys, it's so easy and it's so rewarding. It is literally one of my favorite things. I have tie-dyed so many tea towels. I don't even have words for it. I've tie dyed them. I have done like a bleed where it goes from one color into another color, oh, yellow yeah. into pink, yellow into orange. And I love it. Love it. It's just fun. And like once I get my paint water going, I'm like, oh, what else can I dye? What else Jan, can I dye? Thank you. <laughs> Laura, you know, the dragonfly transfer would be so cute. I am in the process yes. right now of working on my denim skirt that I am doing the new tulip. Mm -hmm. Um, that I love, love, love. Okay, so we are only taking enjoy the little things. Um, we're not gonna do everything. We're taking parts of this stencil um, in the design. And that is the beauty about these stencils. If you don't want to use it, you don't have to. You use parts of the stencil. Yeah, d so don't think that you have to use all of it. Absolutely. And I, while, you know, we showed you, um, how you can make a beautiful piece of art. This what this is this stencil as a piece of art. We're talking about doing the hack on it and going to IKEA and getting a picture frame and having an adorable piece of art. Then you don't have to use the border of it. Absolutely. Just do the inside that says the enjoy the little things. It's a play on words. Absolutely. Because these little things are pretty adorable They're as the Michelle's best. little nuggets little that nuggets. Michelle talks about. 
Um, Brett, Ta we love Tada too. And Tada though is so easy with the one-step paint. So it is. You can have a container of it um, that we have and paint a picture frame or um, paint any number of surfaces. You can even use the one-step paint, guys, as a chalkboard. Mm -hmm. So if you want to be able to tie-dye this, you can turn around and paint a piece of wood and it will actually turn into a chalkboard. Um, oh, what a sweet word, Laura. Thank you so much. They are easy to use and you get addicted and you can use them on so many different things. Yes. The um, Agnes, the gold chalk art is very metallic. You just need to yes. use it. It's very metallic. It's It'll be gorgeous. Pretty. Now there is a there's a flat matte gold and then there's a metallic gold. There's two different chalk arts, um, and one is completely metallic. We have a silver, a gold, and a copper that are all. Um, they're beautiful. They're absolutely beautiful. And I use them a lot on paper and they're great. Now we do have, um, we have a gold color that's just a flat matte like gold, the, it's, I but can't not metallic. What it's, called. it's not a marigold, but that's what it reminds me of. It's like a marigold yellow. It's beautiful. So guys, welcome. We're so glad that you're watching us. The, um, here's the deal. If you've never seen us before, Every time when we do these lives, it's always fun because we, do, we giveaway. do giveaways. And so we are gonna be giving away both of these stencils. All you have to do is um, share, share the, video. the video and tag three friends. And then that, guess what guys? We're back. Um, <laughs> we, we're taking a page out of our own book today and we're not gonna worry. <laughs> we're just gonna we're, take a we, deep breath. We're not going to worry that we lost connection, but we're back. And hopefully y'all can hear the audio. So um, you could just, this is like to be continued. We'll just have a marathon. We'll just come back. We'll just have a marathon. Part two. All right. So, hey, Becky. Hey, Sandra. Hey, guys. Okay. So we're just going to roll on over because we, we've got to finish these projects that we're doing. So um, if you're just now popping us on for the second one, we had a little bit of an interruption, but my name is Amy. And, and I'm Michelle. This is Michelle and we're with the Maker Studio. And we're showing you two brand new stencils that we're introducing today. And these were some artwork done with them. They're absolutely adorable. They're amazing. So in the first video where we lost connection, we made an adorable onesie. Go so back and cute. watch it. Love it. So, we so cute. We teach you how to tie dye it with one step paint and then also stencil it with right. the design. So now we're going to show you this adorable denim jacket that we got at Target. And look at it. So fun. What a cute still here. Hey, Rebecca, thank you so much for staying with us. So we're going to show you how easy it is to be able to take a denim jacket and give it customization, take it, take it to a whole new yes. level. And I love messaging. I love things on clothing and jackets that can encourage somebody when they're standing behind you um, at Walgreens or in Absolutely. the grocery line, then that way they're going, hmm, that's right. I need to stop worrying and I just need to enjoy the journey. Mm -hmm. So it's a message for them as well. All right. So Truth. we, um, Michelle went shopping in her daughter's closet. <laughs> I sure did. And this is Danielle's denim jacket, which what a great message guys right. to tell your children. Right. Um, I think it's the wind. Wi-Fi is always terrible when it's windy, but Laura, how's the connection now? Is it good? Is it better? Tell, tell us. We, we hope. We hey, want Debbie. to know hey, Lily. better. <laughs> hey, two Debbies, Debbie Roberts and Debbie Corbett. All right, guys. So um, we're going to continue making our a denim jacket, and we're going to move this stuff around, so we're going to turn it down. So if you're now watching us on this play, be sure to share the video, because we're going to give two of these stencils away, and we're going to pay for the shipping. It's better. Awesome. Thanks so Yay. much, Dana. Good work. Thank you. All right, so the stencil, if you've never watched this before, we are taking it out of the packaging because the stencils, you want to keep the packaging that it comes in because it's a great thing to store it in. Yep. And they're adhesive, so you're going to take the back off of it. Oh, it's, it's great right now. Yay! It separates. Yes. So that way one side's adhesive. The gray is a polymer, and you can see the 
open right area is a mesh. And that is why you get the deep detail from our designs that you don't get anywhere else because they the bomb diggity. We're gonna pull it up just a wee bit. So I'm gonna, please be sure and continue to just say hey or give us words of encouragement. We love love. Um, and I'm gonna turn this down because I want to be able to show you how you can take a denim jacket and customize it, make it your own. All right, so here we go. I'm gonna turn this down. So we are customizing Danielle's jacket. She's gonna be happy. She is. She's gonna be like, Mom, this is so cute. And then you can use an opportunity to be able to share with her. Not to worry. Not to worry and what it means. Yeah. Teach your children. A big Lord and he is in control. He's of very, all that's the right. Things that's that right. We can't see control all the things that's right all right so the colors that we used when we created this were um if the creek don't rise lord have mercy and well i declare which is a light blue an orange and a white and you know we have chalk art spreaders we just like to cut them into lots of little pieces so that we have more control um i usually don't ever use a full spreader <laughs> It's just so much easier, especially on this. You've got a lot of detail, mm -hmm. and it's it's just going to be a lot easier for you to be able to get in and work your way yes. around. And colors, you can mesh the colors together and do a variation. You can do anything your sweet creative heart desires. And I'm going to start with orange. Well, and two, I think these colors, this is gonna allow us to be able to go with a lot of clothes that we're gonna wear in the summer. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's saying the audio is bad again. I don't know mm. why. We're on the Wi-Fi, guys. We don't know what would be causing that. So maybe they can at least just watch us. Yeah. I don't know what would be causing that. I don't either, sweet friends. We hate that. We have five bars when it comes to Wi-Fi. Now they're saying it's good. Oh, I hate that. I wonder if we're having some kind of weird weather issue too that we just don't know about because we're not outside. <laughs> I don't know. You can hear us. Good deal, okay. So basically what we're doing, guys, um, on this stencil, we're wanting to be able to customize the jacket. We're coming in with the orange gel ink in the filigree area above the words. Mm -hmm. And it allows us to be able to kind of do a framework. You don't want to do it all one color. Yeah. I love being able to blend it. Now, this denim is a lot darker than the one that we got at Target. Yes, agreed. So the colors I think are probably gonna show up a, a, a little bit too. more just because it's darker. I don't know about y'all, but I have a white. Um, White's my favorite. Let me see. You come right back, patience. It's buffering. We come right back. Oh my gosh, guys, I'm so sorry. I'm not mm -hmm. even seeing it on the feed. Let me see. Hey guys, hey Becky. You can't read, can you please read what's on the stencil? Absolutely. Absolutely. Stop, stop worrying about the potholes in the road and enjoy the journey. So this is the stencil that we're working with. The filigree on it and everything is absolutely beautiful. And we've got two stencils that we're introducing today, and they're really quite beautiful. I mean, as far as the details on it. Absolutely. Here it is, even just as a piece of art, so it shows you what it can look like as a chalkboard art, which would be absolutely amazing. But we love being able to use the inks on clothing. And make and, a message. Oh my gosh, and have a, totally have a world. message. Absolutely, so that way, 
So some people are watching with no problem and some people are having a problem. It's so odd. So weird, guys. I mean, technology, help me, Hannah. Right, we need it, but at the same time, it's such a pain sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> like, man, I wish it worked all the time, but why would that be? The cool thing about it is with these inks, you can blend them and you can make different colors. Absolutely, so it's one of my favorite things. We, we want to encourage you to do that and as you're working with it know that it's going into the fibers and this is permanent so but you want to heat it so what yes. we tell people is as you're applying this on here allow it to dry for two hours and then that way after it's dried for two hours take a cloth and a thin cloth it could be like a rag it could Absolutely. be a lint free rag it could be a napkin it could be a towel maybe out of your kitchen and then lay it across it and then get your, your iron with no steam, just dry heat, and then go over it for a good four or five minutes. And what that will do, that's gonna set this down into mm -hmm. the fibers and the materials in this jacket. Now I would say, you know, we don't really talk about this a lot, but as far as clothes, don't you think it would be good to wash it first? If it's a brand new piece of denim. Denim, yes, because denim to, tends to lose the dye. Um, and we don't want that to interfere. So exactly. I would wash the I would denim wash it first, first if it's brand new. Yes, this is an old denim jacket. It was actually a hand-me-down to Danielle from another mama. And so it's been worn, it's been washed, it's been loved. <laughs> All right. Now so I'm that way you can white. see, I love, um, I just love mixing that. That looks right. great. So now the first color that we used was what? Orange. It is Lord Have Mercy. And the second color? If the Creek Don't Rise, which is a pale turquoise, like a pale blue. It's pretty. It's one of my favorite baby colors that we have. So you see how the composition of what Michelle is doing, it's kind of balancing it to where your eyes will be able to read it just a little bit easier. Of course, could you do the whole thing in white? Sure. Absolutely. Could you use the gold metallic uh, ink? Yes. yes. You totally could. But this for for a preteen, excuse me. Color. Teen. Teen. She's I know when teen. did that happen, right? I mean, February is when it happened, but geez Louise. And you know, we could have played with even doing an ombre which, mm -hmm. help me Hannah, Amy. So, you know, you could even come I'm halfway like, on your letters up here and I'm blend an, them. I'm an ombre person, like that's, that's my deal. I do too. I it like doesn't ombre. cost anymore and you can, you can blend the colors and it can look really, really different. Mm -hmm. So guys, as you pop on here and as you're watching, we're doing a custom denim jacket for one of our new, with one of our new stencils that we're introducing today. We've got a bundle. Um, you can buy them together because they really do have great messaging. This one is stop worrying about the potholes and enjoy the journey. The one that we just did prior to this, look at this. This is the cutest. Hold on, I'm getting in Michelle's way. The second one that we have is enjoy the little things. And this is just a little onesie. She's like, I'm trying to work, Amy, and you're trying to work here, here woman. in my space. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna variegate this blue in here with the white. We'll do blue at the bottom. So it's not too much of a difference. Not you know, this subtle. would make a great tote. Yeah, it would. It'd make a great like beach towel. And you know, everybody's moving to the fabric bags to do their groceries. Oh my gosh. How fun to We've got decorate so, some of those. So many cute bags that we're gonna be doing because when, when I go in Whole Foods, I almost feel guilty if I don't have my bag well, with me. Well, you know or that at Aldi's. Trader Joe's doesn't allow for like, um, well, I don't know if it's Trader Joe's specifically. In New Mexico, Santa Fe, New Mexico, you are not allowed to use plastic at all. It's not allowed. Like if you come in with a plastic bag, they will make you figure out something else to bag well, your Well, a groceries. lot of us too are going to farmer's markets. Yes. Um, right. this, this spring and summer. Let's peel. Look at this. My favorite part, the peeling. Oh my gosh, guys, can you see it? Yes. Oh my gosh, that looks so good. I love it. She's gonna be so excited. That is so exciting. Oh my gosh, so I love that. stinking cute. 
Oh my gosh, we're gonna have to hold this up. Okay, hold on just a second. Are y'all ready? Let's hold this up. I'm gonna stick this to our tub. All right, look at this. Hold on, hold this up. This is for Danielle, for her daughter. Look at this. I love it. Look, friends. Look. Yes! How fun! It's great! Oh my gosh, how fun! I guess so many times, you know, we've thought about, we do a lot of tea towels, and we do a lot of tote bags, and we do a lot of pillows, and we do a lot of things that we use in our homes, but, but it's like, fun. why not start really putting this on mm. our clothes? Yes. That's why I was so excited about getting a white denim skirt and doing the tulips. So great. With with the orange ink, and then do a blue and white top. So, so, cute. so cute. Lindy, that would be so cute to make that for your for your daughters. Mm -hmm. Now, here, I want, I want y'all to think outside of the box for just a second. So, we showed you how to do the ombre effect. This is with the other stencil, to do the ombre effect with this. Think, get the white denim shorts, and the white em. jeans. Dip them. And dip them. Dip them. Do it, do it, do it. Do it for you. Dip your white oh. jeans that you can get at Target. Go to Target. Yeah. And then I let's dip them in a really pale pink. So we've got Palmer Pink. Yes. Which is a beautiful pale pink mm -hmm. one step. And dip these white jeans and then do a pattern going down the leg in a darker pink ink. Fab, fab, fab. All the ideas. Let's do it. Let's do it. Are you ready? All right, we've just got a couple more things that we'll just show you. You want to show them the platter that we did? Yes, it's under this other jacket. So with these two stencils, it's there's so many different projects and so many different things that you can do. Okay, so this is the stencil we just used, but all we used was Enjoy with the ceramic paint in our uh, brown chocolate latte, dark chocolate latte. Not so, pretty. so are you with me? Are you with me? Look at this. So fun. So Look. little stencil. So we did the whole thing on a jacket. You don't have to use the whole thing. Mm -hmm. So look at this. Just take the word enjoy. Let's show them again. We use the center of that. And then this is with the ceramic paint. Yes. And put so it. So great. Love that. And it's so, so detailed. Cute. It's so detailed. It's, and it's really different. It's it's on trend. It's, it's kind of edgy. Yes, I well, love it. And the whole boho and like the southwestern thing is coming back. With the chocolate this ceramic. Is very on trend. Yes. So, Judy, with this, now remember you can take the stencils and you can mix it with different things. So mm -hmm. we used the gel ink, then we went on to the ceramic. You can use the ceramic paint. Now I would, I would, I, mean, I know we say it's no bake. It is no bake. It can sit and cure once it's cured for yep. several days. But here's the deal. I really suggest just baking it. Yeah. So if you want to do that platter. It'll cure it faster. It will cure it faster. Pop it in the oven, leave it in there, um, put it on 350 degrees, mm -hmm. bake it for about 25 minutes, minutes, but then let it cool down. When you turn in the, the oven, oven off, let it cool down in the oven and then you can enjoy it. Absolutely. Don't put it in the dishwasher, just hand wash it. All right, so that way Too you, take the the enjoy, you take the enjoy and you make a platter. Now, one, let's show something else. This is so cute. These were from Target. I always love showing you. How we're just, <laughs> hey, that's what, we're out again? The video stopped? Help me, Hannah. Guys, we have no, now mine froze. We don't know what's going on because we've got five bars. We don't know what the problem is. Look at this. Look at this. So then let's show them that one more time. We're frozen. Which one? We're saying one? we're frozen. Our little thing, our little guy. Sweet little nugget. It's stuck. So that way, enjoy the little things and then this. So look at you. We're, so what we're wanting you to be great. able to see is all the different projects. Now Absolutely. we're back on. Evidently, we were frozen mm -hmm. again. We want you to just see how you can think about um, mixing it and doing yeah. all these different things. There's so many options to do with one stencil. They are yes. super versatile. Yes. And because you can wash them, lay them flat to dry, use them over and over and over, one stencil is going to allow you to do a ton of projects. Yes, it really is. So that way, just even even being able to put little little happies like I this. Know. 
in here and give it to somebody well, and they and can see, see it. This with this. Like, on the top. You put oh my baby gosh. things, cute yes. little tiny diapers. Yes, yes, yes. I love like, that. Like you always want cute stuff in your nursery, right? Yes. So it says little things on the inside. You got your little thing right here. You could here. roll that up even and put a little bow on it and give you that to somebody could. as a gift. So could. thank you. Guys, thanks so much for your patience today. We don't know what's going on know. with our um, internet connection because it says that we um, we have five bars, so there shouldn't have been a problem. Um, do, oh, to answer your question, as far as with Judy, do you have to fuzz them first? Not no, ours. You don't with ours. It's totally different. And so we, um, we love to, our, our tagline is crafting a beautiful life. We love showing you how to create all these different projects all the beautiful and the versatility. There's my dogs now. It's just, it's great. Welcome to our home. That's one of the benefits of me being at home. So thank you for your patience. Thank you. We're so sorry for the technical difficulties. Have a great day, everybody. Share this video because we Time need to friends. we need to pick a winner. So all day Friday, all day Saturday and Sunday, Monday afternoon, we'll choose the winner. And that way, um, what a Friday. That's right, <laughs> Dana. And, but you know what? I'm going to enjoy the journey. Yep. I'm not going to let this upset me. Praise God for the little That's things. right. <laughs> Have a great weekend, everybody. Bye. Bye, friends.